the dedication and prologue of part two of Don Quixote begins with a dedication to Cervantes' benefactor and patron, the Count of Lemos. The prologue addresses the unauthorized publication of a second book about Don Quixote by an author who's hiding his identity. Cervantes openly mocks his imitator, then shares short allegories that allude to the difficulty of writing a book. He finishes by thanking the Count of Lemos and Cardinal Don Bernardo de Sandoval y Rojas and promising the publication of two forthcoming works. Cervantes starts the second part of Don Quixote by letting his readers know, in no uncertain terms, that Alonso Fernandez de Avalaneda's exploits of the lunatic knight and his squire are absolutely not sanctioned by their creator, nor are any of the things within that book true, including Cervantes' alleged jealousy of Lope de Vega, one of Spain's most celebrated writers. Don Quixote was written and published long before there were any rules, let alone laws about public domain or intellectual property. The success of this book meant other writers swooped in with their own takes on the characters and story, hoping to cash in. Here, Cervantes makes it clear he's the real master of the Don Quixote universe. Indeed, the prologue to part two of the epic novel depicts Cervantes as confident in his work and completely unthreatened by any imitators.